Um, one, of the, one of the lessons we have to learn as guys is that there is a question that we have to deal with in life. Um, and that question is, is, is there a God? Uh, and I have come to terms in my life, a lot of the guys here have, that yes, there actually is a God, we believe that. Uh, I believe we see it all around us when we're here at Camp Out, and he makes himself evident both in creation and in his word called the Bible. Um, and uh, if you believe and have come to that idea that there is a God, which I hope you have, um, he says very clearly in the Bible there is a next step that we have to deal with. Um, and that is that uh, God wants to be with us and reside with us, and yet God is perfect, and, and to be in God's presence requires perfection. Uh, and uh, thanks to Adam and Eve, uh, we all sin, uh, and, and we have to deal with that. And so tonight we're going to witness one of our young guys that has dealt with that whole process. He's come to believe that there is a God, that he has sin in his life, wants to be in a relationship with him, and wants to have that reconciled. And God's given a way for us to do that through Jesus Christ. Amen. You can read about him in the New Testament. Jesus came and he went to the cross, took care of our sin, and uh, gave us an opportunity to have eternity. And uh, I'm excited that one of our young guys tonight wants to publicly confess his faith in God and, uh, and make that public proclamation and uh, be sealed with Christ. Too. It says, if you believe that Jesus Christ um, is God's Son, and that you are in sin, that you want to rectify that. Um, he says it very simply requires that you would confess your belief in Jesus Christ, repent of your sinful ways, that means to walk away from them, um, and, then, and then simply to be baptized. To believe, to confess, to repent, and be baptized. And so tonight, Mitchell. Mitchell! Lord. Mitchell has come to a point in his life where, where he's wrestled with that question, is there a God? Yes. Is Jesus Christ real? Yes. Is he able and capable to deal with my sin and give me the opportunity to have eternal life? Yes. And he wanted to make that public proclamation in front of us, the men that are uh, a part of his life. And uh, I, am, I am really stoked that his dad, Don, is uh, going to baptize him tonight. So Don and Mitchell, Don! get our camp started. Go check that water. We warmed it up. Did you? It's pretty warm, Don. I thought the algae bloom was a little. Yeah, there's a dock. There's mud. Murky. Wow. Yeah, it's pretty warm. Yeah, it's pretty warm. That's special. Go, Donnie! So, Mitchell, uh, tell them something about how you decided to uh, accept Christ as your Savior. What, where were you? Where were you? What were you doing? Well, we were at the beach together in fifth grade, and we were helping autistic kids uh, catching fish. And on the last day, we were just talking, and I decided I need to do it. So, um, so what'd you do? You said you just did it. You told Jesus that you needed him and that you had sinned. Yes. So, I'm gonna ask you: Do you believe that Jesus is the Christ? the son of a living God. Yes. Well, it's on that confession of faith that I am honored to baptize you in the name of the Father, Panther, <laughs> the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Hey! Buried with Christ. Woo!